another thinking behind the fact that I've spoken of a stronger group, as, you know, a group that's maturing, a group that's getting more and more Premier League ready, if you like, you know, and, and I think that was another good sign of it, the fact you turn around um, a deficit and make it into a win, and I think we'll, we'll have to do that again, of course, but at least now, you know, it's locked in, you know, that, yeah, you're capable of doing that. Wide on that far side for Goodmanson, Goodmanson looking to take on Cresswell, trying to get the better of him, can he get across it, he can, it's a great ball, and a goal! It's Chris Ward, Burnley a level, deserved to be level, what a ball in from Goodmanson! It gives us another platform to, you know, approach these last nine games with sort of a, a bit of freedom and, and go and see how far and how high we can finish up the table. Yeah, I mean, we want to end up as high as possible and uh, seventh place would obviously be fantastic for us as a club and hopefully we can, we can, we can achieve that. And, uh, but well, we know it's going to be tough. I mean, teams behind us are, are catching us up. But as long as we play like uh, against Everton, I think uh, we'll be in uh, some good form. The players know when the squad's strong and, and, it's, and it's a tight group. Um, so when some players come back fit, it, it gives you that, like I say, it gives you a stronger group, it gives you depth, and it gives you more of that competitive element on a daily basis because everyone wants to play, you know, whether you're securing your shirt for the next one because you've been in the team for a while or whether you're, you know, the, the knife edge of, of getting in the side. And I think that's a great marker, especially the way these lads go about their business. And then, of course, it's very important that goes onto the pitch when the whistle blows for real, and it did last weekend because it was a very thorough performance, I felt.